Okay, we're doing good on health. We're doing terrible on stamina. Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go ahead and take on the second boss. So I'm just kind of sitting here by the fire um, waiting for my third food item to wear off. And then we're going to eat uh, sausages, uh, cooked meat, and probably grilled neck tail. These two dishes give me more stamina but less health, and I think I'm going to uh, go for more health. Uh, we have six health potions, a mealy, a medium healing meads that we've made. I've got the tasty meads too, but uh, these reduce our health regeneration by 50%, so I don't, I don't know if I'm going to use those or not. Uh, I have fire arrows. I've got a full stack of flint head arrows. Actually, two full stacks of flint-head arrows. And then, you know, our bow and all of our weaponry. I have not um, watched this boss. I have not watched anybody else do this boss, so I don't know... Uh, I don't know how the fight goes. I've never seen it. In fact, I've never even seen the boss him itself. Uh, so this will be interesting. I What I do know about the boss is that I think it's like a tree guy or like a, you know, like the, the boss of the, the Grey Dwarfs kind of idea. Uh, so I've made some fire arrows uh, under the assumption that the boss will be somewhat susceptible to fire. Um, and then for melee, uh, you know, we'll probably just use the axe and the bronze buckler. Uh, we do have the the at gear too, uh, but I don't know if I'll use that. So anyway, um, a couple things I've done off camera. I finished the... Uh, the Valheim Panama Canal. <laughs> it doesn't show up on the map, but, but the canal goes through here. Uh, so I finished digging that out, and it uh, works great. I've been through it a couple of times now. I sailed my ship all the way back over to here, and um, I need to actually change this uh, here. So let's, uh, let's just remove that, and this is just um, an outpost. I left the base there, but I, I picked up the... Uh, actually, you know what we could do here? Let's remove that and let's remove this. I'm going to actually call this uh, the Raspberry Outpost. Because there's, this is that field that had all of those raspberries in it. I went ahead and did this tomb and finished it because um, it was just right there. only got one certain core out of it. Nothing too ter terribly crazy. Uh, and then I moved the portal up to here. So it's actually... Um, I forgot to mark it, but it's right about here. So what we're going to do is uh, put it right here. And this is called the East One Portal. And I've got it linked up. I also discovered in the process of doing this that we have another swamp biome over here too. Um, so what we'll do after, you know, after we defeat the boss, the plan is to go into the swamp. And I'll probably do this one first, just to see how extensive it is. But if it turns out to be a smaller swamp, um, you know, then we we know where another one is. And this one is probably bigger. I'm, I mean, that's just a total guess on my part, uh, but it's probably bigger. Okay, so I think we're ready to do this. A couple other things I've learned from uh, playing on the multiplayer server is that the um, your ship apparently automatically anchors itself when you get out of it. Um, so instead of putting... Well, you know what, though? It has kind of drifted out a bit. It was closer into shore uh, before. So, hmm, I'm not sure about this after all. Here, let's go get back up here. Uh, I think I am going to... I mean, I had it all the way up against the shore, and, and now it's drifted out a little bit. I mean, it hasn't drifted out a lot, but let's just go ahead and put it into the to the moat so that way we know for sure it's safe another interesting thing that happened though too is that um the the core wood pull that i put up for this ship actually here let's just use the the uh oar instead of the the sails uh it actually broke which was kind of odd i guess the ship banged into it enough times to break it or something but I just feel a little more comfortable having this inside the moat because then we know, yeah, I mean, take a little damage, but whatever. Then we know it's not going to go anywhere. So, okay, so let's hop out of there. I'm not, I won't, I'm not going to bother putting the the core wood pull down that we had though because 
here again it didn't uh, it ended up breaking anyway so all right let's go ahead and eat our three things of food I also have you know the carrot soup and the jam with me too I'm not really sure why but I do um, and let's go do this this is gonna be interesting because like I said I do not know anything about this boss um, hopefully you know he's he's good uh, or weak against arrows or at least I can use arrows uh, I was I was pretty pretty close to right on the money there but let's um east one portal I didn't bother you know building any kind of a, a, a shed for the portal this time uh, I might at some point and guess what I forgot I forgot my ancient seeds so let's go back and grab those I knew I was gonna do that uh, and I don't know how many we need either so I'm just gonna grab everything I have because I'm assuming that after we defeat this boss we won't need them for anything else later could be wrong about that but uh, we have three there hmm I thought I had more than that oh you know what I wonder if we have some at the the other base not at the not at the main log cabin base but at the little shack that I have the other portal set up at could have sworn I had more than the, more of those so in here I don't oh no how many of those are we gonna need well let's just take the three and see if that's that's all we need and if you know we need more then I'm gonna have to go find some more brutes to kill I'm probably getting a little confused with my multiplayer um, game you know the multiplayer server because I could have sworn I had a lot more of those than that but all right well let's go through and try it and if it's not enough it's not enough I think we only needed two deer heads for Ith Ithkir, so maybe we only need two seeds for for this dude. Okay, we're cold. I don't know if we should be doing this in the... I don't want to get wet either. I don't know if we should be doing this in the daytime or not. All right. Well... What does this say? Burn their young. Okay. So, is it okay to burn three of their young? You may. Oh, okay. I guess that was enough. All right. Let's put this back here. And here he comes. We're going to start with fire arrows. So, he is a tree guy. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll hit him with fire arrows, but then we'll also uh, what's he what's he doing? Oh, so we're gonna have ads in this fight. Lovely. So he does some kind of a thorn thing. Interesting. Okay. So we just kind of try and dodge that. Freaking ads are going to be a pain in the butt. Can we hide behind here when he does his little thorn thing? Oh, okay. So we can actually, it looks like we can avoid, oh shit, uh, avoid the branches. Let's switch back to fire arrow because that seemed to do a pretty decent amount of damage to him. Okay, so his, his uh, thorn thing just kind of goes out in a little bit of a, a fan situation. Ah, frick. Okay, these ads are such a pain in the ass. Let's uh let's take a healing potion. I might have to to try and deal with the ads. I, I don't know if I can keep ignoring them.
Okay, so he actually gets close to us. Oh man, I have no stamina. Out of stamina. So it looks like we can kind of dodge behind the pillars to avoid his uh, thorn attack. Yeah, okay, so we can do that. That's good to know. Oh man, these gray dwarfs are fucking pissing me off. Are these things growing up on the ground like a problem too? Oh, he's right there. Shit. Okay, let's get behind here. So if I kill these gray dwarfs, is he just going to like spawn more in? Okay, run away from the roots. I have no stamina to shoot. Okay. I think this is a bad idea, but I have got to get more stamina, so I just took a, a mead. Alright, so we might have a little bit of a strategy here. If we just kind of stay behind pillars to avoid the little thorn attack thing, we're safe from that. Um, we might want to we might want to see if we can deal with these gray dwarfs. Let's go over to this corner here. Let's just try and kill these guys really quick if we can. I'm going to take um, a health potion again and run over to this corner. And then I'm going to take another mead. So we can get rid of these son of a bitches. Okay, so we got rid of those guys. Alright, now, um, whoops. Shoot him. Now, let's run this way and get away from the roots. So you guys can definitely tell me in the comments later if there's a better... Oh, shit, he's right there. If there's a better strategy for this guy. Like I said, I'd never seen the fight. I didn't know what to expect, so we're just doing this blind. Was that big group of gray dwarfs that we had to fight early on part of this fight or did they just kind of show up from the woods I don't know get the hell out of here okay let's run away from the roots he hit us that time okay let's run across over here We'll just wait and get a little stamina back. We're doing okay so far. Okay, roots, 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 roots. Run over to this pillar. Is he... Is he healing? I don't know. Let's take another healing potion while we have the opportunity. Stay away from these root dudes. And then we also need to pop one of these quick. Okay. 
No, don't go in the frickin' water. Goodness. Okay, run over this way. Get away from the roots. Oh, man. Look at them all. All the frickin' gray dwarfs. They're gonna be a problem. Okay, let's take a mead. We need some stamina. Great time for you to save, game. Just kind of keeping the fire up on him. Okay, I'm going to trade uh, for some stamina food. I hope that wasn't a mistake. Okay, get rid of away from these guys. Okay, let's take a stamina potion. Okay, I think we're gonna have to deal with the... Uh, we're gonna have to deal with these ads again. So let's get over here. Ugh. No frickin' stamina. Okay, we got rid of them guys. So he's a little over half done. Watch out for the roots. You get the hell out of here. Oh no, don't. Unequip your axe. Oh, I hate that when that happens. Okay, he's out of the way. Get out of here. Take another health potion. Oh, we're on a cooldown on it, I guess. Oh, we're out of we're out of flaming arrows. I should have made more. Are we really? Yeah, we are. Okay. Guess we're gonna use normal arrows now. I'm not so sure the flaming arrows did all that much damage to him anyway. Oh, for Pete's sake, get your fucking axe out. <laughs> Just hit the wrong button. Uh, all right, let's get this going. And we got roots. Let's take one of these. And... Let's 
There we go. Okay, back to fighting him. Brutes. Run over here. good on health we're doing terrible on stamina let's have another stamina thing stay behind the pillar here okay kind of getting the rhythm of things here No, oh, I'm such a noob. Why the hell did I do this earlier? <laughs> I forgot to activate my power. Okay, that's going to help. Okay. Much better. Actually, it's probably not a bad thing that we saved it till later anyway. Tell you guys I planned it that way, but you'd know I was bullshitting you. Okay, roots. We're getting them down. All right, we have a bunch of ads. We got a couple. Let's run over here. This is actually kind of a good time when he's chasing you because he's not doing all this other crap. Getting close. We got him. All right, man. Woot. That was a pretty challenging fight. <laughs> pretty challenging fight, especially, you know, going blind into it, not really knowing what to expect. Um, I'm not convinced the fire arrows really did a whole lot, to be honest with you. Uh, the flint arrows uh, were certainly, you know, chipping away at him is uh you know is this boss is he better to fight with melee like you know with an axe or a mace or even the at gear should i have stayed at his feet and you know whittled away at him like that i don't know let me know in the comments guys um what you guys think but here we go we got the elder trophy and the swamp key nice i happen to know that because of my multiplayer server told me uh that we need that to get into the the dungeon that's in the swamp and once we get into there then we will have access to iron yay okay we did it woot yay us man oh man um so it looks like it takes three seeds because we don't have any seeds left in our inventory and um let's get rid of these stupid heads yeah i don't know we're were all the ads that I had at the very beginning of the fight supposed to be there? Or did those guys actually come out of the forest at the, like, most inopportune time? I don't know. but Because it seems to me like, you know, there, there more Grey Dwarfs came in later on in the fight. But I never had as big of a group as that first group. So, 
Not sure. But anyway, we did it. Yay us. Yay us. All right, so we're going to head on back home and get all fixed up and repaired. And then it's swamp time, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to hit the swamp. I've been in the swamp a little bit on the multiplayer server. Uh, but now we're going to go in there with the key, find the dungeon, and get going uh, into the Iron Age. Moving from the Bronze Age into the Iron Age. Yeah, that was that was a challenging fight. It was. It was fun, though. Definitely enjoyed that fight. From what I understand, too, that boss got buffed. Um, he was apparently he was too easy, um, you know, in the in the first uh, release of the game. So they buffed him, and made him harder. So he was definitely not not easy. That was not an easy fight, but we got it done. Uh, we went through five health potions on all of our mead potions, too. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go over to the pillars and hang up the head first of all go away forsaken sacrificed All right, cool. Um, oh, what's that say? So you were my death. You look so small and soft. Tell Odin he may have broken this form, but the wilderness will never submit to his rules. Uh, do you have something to say? Activate power. The Elder. Okay. Um, what exactly does the Elder power do? Uh, if we go here... The elder. Faster wood cutting. That, really? That's all we, <laughs> that's all we get is faster wood cutting? I mean, I guess that'd be handy for 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 logging, but um okay. <laughs> that's not quite what I was expecting. I thought we would get, you know, more strength or something like that. Um alright, well Honestly, I think we're gonna stick with Ithkir's power. Um, if I need to go do a whole bunch of logging, maybe I'll come over here and activate this guy's power, but, um, what's this say? First of the forest, king in the wood, lord over those who dwell at his feet. His roots will grow where cities once stood, their blood, his wine, their flesh, his meat. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, the, the power, you know, faster wood cutting, I mean, eh, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it comes in handy for logging. <laughs> but I was hoping for something that was a little more combat based, but it is what it is. Okay, cool. What time is it? Well, yeah, I think, guys, and this episode's going to probably be a little bit shorter than what I usually do, but this is probably a good time for us to go ahead and wrap it up. So the plan for the next episode is to hit the swamp. So I think what we'll do is we'll go... Uh, we'll go down to the, to the swamp that's by our south base first... Um, and, you know, just, I've never even marked our south base. Goodness gracious, what's the matter with me? There. Now it's marked. Um, so we'll, we'll try this swamp out first, um, it, and then, you know, if it turns out to be really small, we don't find the dungeon or whatever, we now have the option of this swamp here over by the east portal that we can do. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm, I'm stoked, man. It was fun that we, we killed the boss, and we killed the boss on the first try, and doing it blind on top of that. Again, I honestly did not know anything about that boss, so that was really cool. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and also know that I do have a multiplayer. Uh, I do live stream multiplayer, and I have a separate playlist for that. Uh, we've done two episodes on the new server, so if you're interested in watching multiplayer stuff, um, that is also available on the YouTube channel. All right, guys, we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.